Hey guys, Bailey's here today. Say hi, Bailey. <laughs> and she's going to help us out with our math lesson 9.7. And it's about one of her maybe favorite type of thing in the world because we're continuing to be learning about money, money, money. <laughs> and today we're learning about this type of money. And you know what this is? It's a one dollar bill. Dollar, dollar bills. Woo -woo. So when we are looking at the dollar bill, guys, I want you to tell me or tell someone close by you, what is something that's the same and something that's different between the dollar bills and the coins that we have been learning about? Hmm. Hmm. So remember like our nickels and pennies that we've been learning about and the quarters and the dimes. Well, Bailey, what's something that you know that is the same about the bills and the coins? The coins and the Bill are money? Yes, that's right. They're all money. And they all spend the same. And you can buy things with dollar bills and you can buy things with coins. So, but beyond that, there's a lot of things that make them different. So one thing that makes them different is their shape. The dollar bill is shaped like a rectangle whereas our coins are all circles okay also the material that they're made of is different coins are made out of metal and they're really hard and you can't change the position or shape a bill like a dollar bill is made out of paper and it's can, very flexible you can bend it and wiggle it and fold it right so that's another difference between the two types of money. Something else that's different is their value. So we know that pennies have a value of one cent. That's right. All right, handy assistant. Nickels have a value of five cents. Good. Dimes have a value of ten cents. And quarters have a value of 25 cents. Good. And a dollar has a value of one dollar. Or we can also say that one dollar is equal to 100 cents. So boys and girls, when we're looking at the dollar bill, we notice on the front that we see a picture of our very first president of the United States of America, Mr. George Washington. Washington. And George Washington is also featured on the head side of what coins, everybody? Oh, do you remember? Quarters. Good. So George Washington is on the quarters and the one dollar bill. You'll also notice that it says the United States of America across the top, as well as the number one is in all four corners. The, the very bottom, it says one dollar, indicating the value of this bill. On the back side of the dollar bill, you're going to once again see one written in words and one, the numeral, in the corners. We have a pyramid here and then the great seal of the United States of America with our eagle featured on this side. So these are the features that you'll notice and that show you that it's a one dollar bill. And as I said earlier, one dollar is equivalent to or has the same value as 100 cents. And there are several different ways we can make 100 cents. And today we're going to talk about making equal values of our four coins to make 100 cents, meaning equal to one dollar. So Bailey and I are going to do a little trade here. She's going to get the dollar bill. And I am going to attempt 
to trade her some pennies, some nickels, some dimes, and some quarters that have the same value as the $1. So we're going to try this out, and I'm going to see if she is a real smart money manager. All right, guys, and you can help too. So Bailey, you have a $1 bill, and I have one penny. Would you like to give me that one dollar bill for my one penny? No, right? Because one penny is worth one cent. And can you hold up that dollar bill? That is worth 100 cents. So that would not be a fair trade if I gave her one penny when it's actually worth 100 cents. Bailey, how many pennies would I need to give you for you to give me the dollar bill? 100 pennies. <gasps> 100 pennies and you know what? You are in luck and so am I because we just happen to have 100 pennies right here. They are all in groups of 10. So boys and girls, why don't you count by 10? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, Bailey, so I have 100 pennies there. Are you willing to trade me the 100 pennies for your $1 bill? Yes. All right, hand it over, Missy. Now, which one do you think is easier to carry with you? The $1 bill or the 100 pennies? I'd rather carry the bill, but let's see. All right, Bailey gets her bill back. Now I'm going to try to make a different trade with her. Let's see if she's still pretty wise. I'm going to offer her this coin, boys and girls. I know it's a little hard to see. Let's see if you can tell what it is. So, Bailey, I have one nickel. Would you be willing to give me your $1 bill for one nickel? No. But it's one coin and one bill. Isn't that equal? No. Oh, man. She doesn't want to trade because how much is this one nickel worth, guys? Five cents. Five cents, and her dollar bill is worth 100 cents. So she doesn't want just five cents from me. She wants 100 cents from me. So if I want to trade her my nickels for the $1 bill, I'm going to have to give her a lot more nickels. So here are my nickels, boys and girls, and I want you to help me count them out. And when we count nickels, we count by fives because they have a value of five cents. So we're going to count our nickels until we get to 100. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that has a value of 100 cents, the same as the $1 bill. So let's count how many nickels I need to give Bailey to get her $1 bill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So, Bailey, if I were to offer you twenty nickels, would you be willing to give me the dollar bill? Yes. All right, because that is a fair and equal trade. They have the same value. All right, so now I actually have some other coins that I want to trade for Bailey's dollar bill there. I have some dimes. So if you remember what those dimes look like, they're those small silver dimes, right? The small silver coins. So let's see if I can trick her this time. Shh. Uh, Bailey, if I give you this dime, would you give me your dollar? No. She said no. But it's one and one. That's the same, right? No. Mm, she didn't fall for it, boys and girls. She knows that her $1 bill has a value of 100 cents. And one dime only has a value of 10 cents. So let's see if we can make a group of dimes that has an equal value to the dollar, meaning is 
a group of dimes worth 100 cents. Now, here are my dimes. And you know dimes have a value of 10 cents each. So when we count dimes, we count them by tens when we want to figure out the value, meaning how much a group of dimes is worth, how much money we have. So count by tens with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now I have a group of dimes that has a value of 100 cents, or it could also say it has a value of $1. How many dimes equal $1? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's see, Bailey, if I were to offer you my 10 dimes, would you give me the dollar bill now? Yes. All right, because that's a fair and equal trade. They have the same value. They both are worth $1 or 100 cents. All right, one more coin to go. And I hope I can trick her this time. Shh, don't say anything. Okay. So now I'm offering Bailey this brand new shiny fancy really large coin here can you see what it is a quarter um hey babes i have this really shiny fancy really big quarter can i trade this for your dollar no she said no i guess she's pretty smart and wise with her money because bailey doesn't want to give me her dollar which is worth how much 100 cents for my quarter because the quarter only has a value of 25 cents. So 25 cents is less than 100 cents. So that would not be a fair trade. But let's see if I can give her a group of quarters that have an equal value. So let's look at my quarters here. And I want to count my quarters to get to 100 cents. Now, since quarters have a value of 25 cents, I count them by 25. 25, 50, 75, 100. So I can see that. Four quarters equals 100 cents, meaning it takes four quarters to equal one dollar. Let's see if she'll trade now. Hey, Bailey, I have four quarters. Would you want to trade four quarters for your dollar? Yes. Awesome. So we just completed another fair and equal trade. And boys and girls, I encourage you, maybe you can play a similar game at home with your family members with some quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, and a dollar bill that you may have on hand. And on your math paper today on lesson 9.7, it's all about dollars and making fair and equal trades with your coins. So making sure that they add up to $1 or 100 cents.